I'm going to show you 12 different drum beats that are really useful. These are the basics of them, and you can add things as you wish. First of all, think about the white stripes, and you'll think about a beat like this one. Just a very simple four on the floor, one on each beat, in a bar. Secondly, straight eights. So think Michael Jackson. Kick, snare, kick, snare, with hats in between. Both of those are on the micro drum sampler, by the way. The second one is on a micro 909. First one, I didn't like the sound of the bass drum. So what I did was I found another kick in here and I found something that I liked and I went into samples and whatever. I found a kick that I liked the sound of and whatever one it was, I just grabbed it, dragged it over, dropped it here, pressed a new kick drum. Here's the third one anyway. This I think is also a 909 and this one is disco. But now there's four to the floor, so it's like the other two combined. So if you want to see that down there, that's what that looks like. Next is a 16th note beat, and this is where you've got more hats going on. Now this is the basic of it. Now the thing is, a lot of the time when somebody's drumming, they're hitting that with both hands. When they hit the snare, there's nothing hitting on the hi-hats. So really, this one wouldn't be in there, and this one wouldn't be in there. So you'd have more Also, these would probably vary a bit. The first one is likely to be the loudest. And you get the idea. So you can finesse that. Next one is a train beat. So there's a bit more of that kind of thing going on here. Here, there's lots of different ups and downs on how hard it's hit down here. You click on the that you're interested in. There's the kicks. They're all pretty hard. There's the snare. And here's how it sounds. And the next one, Motown. Probably a bit faster normally, I think. There's been a lot of songs written with that beat. Next one, this is called Bossa Nova, but I don't know, Bossa Nova is a bit more subtle than this. A lot of changes go on, but this will give you a basic flavour, basic starting point for a Bossa Nova. Next one we've got is a basic swing beat. So that's the basis, and you add in extra little fills all over the place when you're doing a, a swing beat. Little syncopated stuff, kicks and, and snares and whatnot. Now here's a slow blues. Here's a cool one that's kind of similar to that, called the Halftime Shuffle. This one's called a Double Time Beat. That's a fun rhythm. And here's one called Soka. Now, this isn't one that I really tended to use before, but the song Africa uses it, and I believe it's a, a rhythm that comes from Africa that I know very little about. But you might like to use it. You can do them in any DAW. Oh, by the way, the drums that I've used here is this emulation kit from the drum sampler, which is in Waveform Pro. AVL Black Pearl, so that one, that's a cool kit actually. Another one that's pretty cool is the Red Zeppelin. So if we use acoustic warm. There's lots of nice ones there, cyberpunk. They don't tend to sound kind of different. Move these beats onto different types of kits, you get quite a different sound. Obviously these are dry now, if you, once you put reverb and stuff onto these it'll sound a lot nicer. So let's just add a reverb quickly. Let's use uh, the non-linear reverb. 